every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruta and welcome to my food challenge where I'm trying Laura in the Kitchen recipes for the very first time in front of the camera together with you. And today for dinner I'm having Laura's, let's see, seared salmon with sautéed spinach and mushrooms. A mouthful of a name, <laughs> but I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't tried Laura's fish recipe in ages and it's about time so if you're curious to see how it goes and how it looks and most importantly how it tastes in the very end then keep on watching we're gonna need four fillets of fresh salmon with skin 400 grams in total 300 grams of mushrooms sliced 170 grams of spinach washed and dried one tomato chopped three cloves of garlic sliced four tablespoons of olive oil divided into two and two tablespoons one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar one tablespoon of fresh parsley roughly chopped and salt and pepper large non-stick skillet here with high sides to which now I'm gonna add the two tablespoons of olive oil and the garlic and over medium heat I'm gonna let them preheat together and once the garlic starts sizzling I'll meet you back here alrighty so as you can hear I can hear what I wanted it's sizzling so now to this I'm gonna add the mushrooms I'm gonna season them with some salt and pepper and cook for four minutes Okay, now to this, I'm gonna add the tomato, I'm gonna season it with a little bit more of salt. I'm not sure about the pepper because I feel like I seasoned with the pepper really, really well. I'm gonna increase the heat to medium high and cook for two minutes. Ooh, look at that bubbling away. Okay, now I'm gonna reduce the heat to low, add the spinach, Cover the pan with a lid and cook for one minute. Okay, that's done. So now I'm gonna add the balsamic vinegar and just mix everything until the spinach wilts down a little bit more and everything is mixed together. Oh, this looks and smells so lovely and I have such a mess already in the kitchen so now this is done I'm gonna remove it to a platter I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil to keep it warm I've turned off the heat so that I can explain what I'm gonna do next Okay, I think I have everything here. So I've returned the skillet to the burner. I'm gonna add the same skillet. I'm gonna add the remaining two tablespoons of olive oil and preheat it over medium high heat. I want the oil to get really, really hot. So when, while that's happening, I'm gonna move on to seasoning the salmon with some salt and pepper from both sides. So when that's ready, I'm gonna add the salmon here, skin side down first, and cook for four minutes on each side. And if you see this little piece appearing here, if I have any space, I will add it here. This is what's left from the huge chunk of filet. It just cuts so nicely there, but if I have place, I'm gonna add it here, so don't be surprised. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm gonna throw the picture of Laura's one right now because this looks awesome. My God, this is such a quick recipe, such a quick one, especially if you cook 
normally you know not filming you would actually use two pans in one the mushroom sauce and in the other uh, the salmon so all in all it would take you like what under 10 minutes this is like really 10-15 minutes and you're having this and this looks so wow like if I saw something like this I would think someone put so much time and effort into cooking this my mouth is watering it looks awesome I'm sure I'm gonna love it my sauce though looks way saucier than Laura's oh my god Ooh, it looks so good okay I have to assemble a very nice bite, which means I need to have everything, right? Bear with me, I'm almost there. I know you don't see it, but there's lots of effort involved. Now, if only it won't fall. <laughs> almost, okay. And the veggies were still warm, so nice. Oh, it's so hot. Mmm. I have to try the skin. It looked so crunchy. Oh my god, it looked just perfect. I feel like I seared things perfectly today. Mm. Can you hear? This is a total winner of a recipe. It might not look like an impressive one, you know, for a food challenge, but for a daily life, you know, when you want to eat healthy and tasty and I'm so busy assembling another bite. This is a great, great recipe. I feel like the outro is like my, this part of my head. I even don't know the name of it, to be honest. This is forehead. What's that? I don't know. Look at this. This looks so good. Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Five stars. I'm not picking that thing up because it has sauce. Mm. This is so good. If you like fish, especially if you like salmon, I, ha I have kind of like a love hate relationship with salmon. I kind of like it, but at the same time, at some point, it becomes too oily for me. And it's just unpleasant to eat. For now, that crunchy skin is everything. I love this so much. I'm so happy. So, so happy about my dinner. If you want to watch Laura make this recipe, the link is there in the cards. If you want to try it yourself, which I highly, highly suggest, this is so quick, so easy, so crunchy, so perfectly looking. Okay, I will show it to you just because I'm so excited. Can you see it? I hope you can. This, I want to hug and kiss it all over. Like, that's how pretty and good it looks. So the recipe is down in the description box uh, in both American and the metric systems. Of course, I just convert every single recipe of Laura's. Do you have food everywhere? Ah, who cares? I convert every single recipe of Laura's I try into the metric system because I'm using one myself and the she has like an app or, or somewhere like some some conversion table or whatever it's so funny you know <laughs> like I imagine for like those who use imperial system it's you know you don't get our metric system so when saying that you need like 113 grams of butter, it sounds so funny too. So I kind of convert, you know, right, rounding up and I try it out whether it works or not. So there you have it. I'm very, very happy. If you want more recipes with like fish, that playlist I always forget is on either side of me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.